Hi, okay. We already set up the circuit. So the yellow trace here, the yellow trace will trace the triangular wave output from the capacitor here. So, so, and the blue trace here will give our control voltage level. So, let us see now on the oscilloscope. See, that is the output of the triangular wave. It's a very nice triangular wave. Uh, it's balanced, I think. It's almost perfect triangular wave, a very nice triangular wave. So, this blue trace here, this is our control voltage, it is zero. We don't have a control voltage right now, and it is uh, the yellow trace has two millivolts per division, and the blue trace has uh, two volts per division, and the blue trace has also two volts per division. So right now, our uh, blue trace is zero. Our blue trace is zero, while our triangular wave has a voltage of 2 uh, what is 1, 2 2, 4, 6 it has a maximum uh, voltage of 9 and low of about uh, more than 2 2.1 2.2 volts let's check here Okay, so we'll st let's start to run the circuit now. So by uh, wait. So if I going to adjust the potentiometer here, the motor will start to run. Let's see, we'll see. Uh, let's see and check in the the level of the control also see when I rotate the potentiometer my voltage level will go high so I'm rotating it here okay so here once the voltage uh, control voltage level will go touch the lower tip of the triangular wave the motor will start to run See. the motor now is giving sound it means the PWM is already injected to the motor and the power is just not enough to rotate the motor see if I move more see it starts to run you cannot see it but you can hear it the bearing of this one is not anywhere good so if I up, switch up. Okay. See, look at here. Also in the control voltage and the triangular waves. When I when it starts to cross. <laughs> 